The following Signode safety video depicts a Signode automatic commercial printing compression strapping system, including entry exit and internal conveyors, a control panel, control console, and hydraulic pump. Your system may be configured differently with controls provided by an original equipment manufacturer. It is the responsibility of the OEM to provide the necessary equipment interlocks and controls. At Signode, safety and customer satisfaction are top priorities. Our ISO certified plants carefully design, manufacture, assemble, and test Signode power strapping equipment to ensure that it meets strict performance requirements. This video will help educate you about personal protective equipment, general housekeeping, and safety procedures for machine service. It's extremely important that equipment operators wear personal protective equipment to prevent hand, eye, foot, and other injuries. Signode recommends that operators wear protective gloves and steel toe safety shoes, and that both operators and bystanders wear safety glasses with side protectors. Maintaining a clean, uncluttered work area will also help prevent injuries. Be sure that the strap path from the dispenser to the chute system does not interfere with traffic patterns, causing a trip hazard. Also, be sure that the dispensers are working properly and the strap does not spill out onto the floor. Always dispose of used strapping and edge protectors in designated disposal or recycling containers. All operators and service personnel must be fully trained before operating or working on Signote equipment. Only personnel who are trained and authorized specifically to work on electrical equipment should attempt to service the strapping system's electrical components. Signode conducts comprehensive operation and service training during installation and includes an operation parts and safety manual with every strapping system. If after completing training and reviewing the manual you have any questions regarding proper operating procedures, ask your service representative for help. Signode power strapping systems are equipped with machine guarding to help prevent injuries and safety labels to alert you to possible hazards. Be sure that all safety labels and control panel identification plates are in place and legible. If you need to replace any labels, contact your Signode service representative. Guarding around moving machine parts helps eliminate crush, shear, and pinch hazards. Be sure that these guards are always in place when the equipment is in operation. Additional precautions should be taken to ensure that all electrical components are working properly. Keep all electrical covers closed to prevent operators from touching live electrical wires and to protect the equipment from dust and debris. Check illuminated controls for burned out bulbs, replacing bulbs as necessary. Be sure that all emergency stop and emergency platen up buttons and power disconnect or lockout switches are functioning properly and that they're included on all operator control consoles. Also verify that equipment interlocks are connected to conveyors and all other appropriate equipment according to Signode design and local codes. Signode provides the capability to lock out and tag out all air and electrical controls for maintenance purposes. Before servicing the machine or walking on conveyors, insert the lockout tag on the control panel. Secure the padlock and take the key with you so that no one other than you can restore power to the equipment. Ensure that the power is disconnected by pressing the power button. When servicing the strapping heads, you will need electrical power. So instead of locking out power, lower the platen to its lowest position, switch the machine into service mode on the control console, and again, take the key with you. This shuts off electrical power to signode conveyors and all hydraulic power. Electrical power to the strapping heads remains on 
allowing you to feed and take up strapping. When clearing a strap jam, remove the locking pin. Rotate the head. Reinsert the pin. Rotate the crank handle. Remove the strapping. Return the head to its operating position and insert the locking pin before turning the power on. If you need to work beneath the platen, lower the platen onto blocking devices positioned at each side of the platen or onto a load. Lock out power and then perform the appropriate service. Now that you know how to safely operate and service your Signode Unitizer, you should also be aware of some common misuses of the equipment that can cause serious injuries. The following are examples of how not to use power strapping equipment. Do not ride the platen. Never walk on conveyors or under the platen when the power is on. Do not walk in front of the photo eyes when the machine is in automatic mode. The strapping system will react as if you were a load and begin the strapping cycle. Never straighten or stabilize a load as it's riding into the machine. Never service, clean, or lean on the machine when the power is on. Do not change the preset logic in the programmable logic controller. Doing so could cause serious personal injury or machine damage. Never lift or pull a load by its strapping. This is a dangerous practice which could result in serious personal injury. By avoiding these dangerous practices and always following the safety guidelines for personal protective equipment, housekeeping, and machine maintenance, you will reduce the chance of injury while working with Signode power strapping equipment. Be sure that all operators view this video prior to using any Signode power strapping system.